They say Android is complicated, but it isn't complicated that much. And fortunately, its openness allows you to customize it as you want. If you are an iOS fan, you will like a spear launcher, a launcher that mimics iOS and it does it well. When you tap on your home button, you go straight to your iOS home screen and as you can see, it's a set of apps and you can swipe through them until you go to the extreme right and if you go to, to the extreme left, you're going to your search page and you can search for whatever you want. This launcher is fast and smooth and uh, it re it's really as fast as uh, real iOS and uh, if you want to create a folder just tap uh, a, uh, an application and uh, uh, drag it on top of another and here is your uh, folder if you want to delete this folder just drag it out of it and in uninstall an application just tap on this uh, X and it will ask you if you want uh, really to uninstall this uh, application uh, when uh, you are in uh, the launcher and you want to uh, go to the multitasking to iOS multitasking just to swipe up gets you there and uh, you can close them one by one when you swipe uh, to the left, you're gonna find your uh, quick shortcuts. As you see, a lot of my icons are iOS-ish and uh, you can uh, choose to do that or not. If I don't like uh, an icon, I just tap and hold it like that and then tap on the up itself and uh, tap on design icon. Uh, all the menus looks like uh, iOS. I can change the background and set it to white. Uh, here it is. And a another feature if I want to change the icon, I can change it. I can tap on replace the icon. I can choose from uh, icons in current theme, which is iOS, uh, or a uh, application icon or a system gallery i'm going to choose from icon in current theme and i'm going to choose safari and and there is a set of settings that uh, allows you to modify the icon let's enable them uh, the last one is crystal mask you can see that uh, the browser's uh, icon uh, changes when uh, you enable it or disable it, I'm gonna disable it and we're done. Here is your Safari icon and when you tap on it, you go straight to the internet application. When we talk about iOS, we know that it isn't uh, customizable at all. And uh, this launcher allows you to customize it as it was an Android device. Just tap on your menu button and uh, go to wallpaper you can choose from the live wallpapers that are uh, only available in android i'm gonna choose from local wallpapers and then live wallpapers and i like this one face beam and i'm gonna set this wallpaper and uh, this is ios look with a live uh, wallpaper and it looks really nice Another feature that Android has over iOS is widget support and fortunately this uh, launcher has got the ability to add some widgets just tap on your uh, just tap on your menu button and uh, add and then uh, tap on widgets and uh, all of your uh, widgets will show here you can choose from them uh, I'm gonna tap on this one and what the launcher does is that it adds a uh, page in the home screen dedicated for uh, widgets and you can add as much widgets as you want 
uh, if you want to delete the widget just tap and hold it and tap on this red button let's say a launcher does not change the uh, experience that much luckily this launcher includes something called the uh, spear hub which is a hub where you can find some plugins to your uh, launcher uh, two plugins that I found are uh, a spear notifications and a spear lock screen you can lock the screen using the power button and if you want to unlock it you will find uh, iOS uh, lock screen here is the camera sh shortcut and when you go up it will open your uh, camera app and now it's asking me for it uh, if you want to unlock your device just slide to unlock there's also a spear uh, notifications and uh, if you pull down the notification shade it will pull down a notification uh, UI that looks like uh, iOS one and plus you have got your uh, there are some shortcuts here and they are uh, useful they are like uh, shortcuts added by samsung or uh, other roms changing the experience does not end there the developer of this launcher added a set of applications that look uh, really like ios apps and work like them first of them is reminders application this application goes to a like ios user interface in reminders app and you can add some reminders they are filtered by date and you can do a lot of things with it uh, the next app will be clock and it is uh, ios clock here is your word clock you can set an alarm I'm gonna add an alarm and uh, this is uh, taken from iOS and this you can go to stopwatch or set a timer the next app is the browser which is named a spear browser and it looks like iOS 6 is a stock launcher let's go to a website and see how it performs the verge dot com done let's go to the verge it looks exactly like uh, safari in ios and it's done uh, it's fast and smooth nothing to mention but uh, when you swipe uh, down when you scroll down uh, uh, the page you go straight to the end of the page like uh, android not like ios when you are in ios when uh, you scroll you just go like that You go by a little steps let's uh, try the full side not about the verge full side It is still loading. And here is the page. Let's scroll down. It is uh, really responsive, smooth, like uh, Android uh, browser. Let's pinch to zoom here. It 
it's uh, responsive and let's scroll to the download the page in conclusion you will find out that uh, android's openness makes it uh, really flexible and uh, really convenient uh, to everyone